Turbo Pascal 3 is a great choice for programming in CPM. It is an IDE that allows you to edit, compile and run all from a single application. For this demonstration I'm going to create a FizzBuzz program. For those not familiar with FizzBuzz, it's a children's game where players count up from one, each taking a turn with the next number. If the number the player is on is divisible by 3, they replace that number with Fizz. If divisible by 5, they replace that number with Buzz. And hence if divisible by 3 and 5 with FizzBuzz. If we take a look at the Turbo Pascal files, we can see just how small it is. The total size of the files here is 68k. And once you have configured Turbo Pascal, you no longer need the tinst files. This would leave the total size at 34k, leaving plenty of room for your source code files. To start Turbo Pascal, we execute the turbo command. This then displays the splash screen, showing the version and which terminal is configured. We'll include our messages by pressing Y. We can now see the main IDE screen and the various options available to us. I'm going to create a FizzBuzz program to demonstrate the use of Turbo Pascal, so I'll first need to create a Pascal file. I'll do this by pressing W to specify the work file, and then enter fizzbuzz.paz. To edit this file I press E. I'm now presented with the editor, and as you can see in the top right, I'm editing fizzbuzz.paz. So here I'll enter the fizzbuzz program. The editor uses many of the WordStar key combinations which should be familiar to most CPM users. Now the program has been entered, I press Ctrl K, then D to leave the editor and put me back at the IDE prompt. To run and compile our program, I press R. Turbo Pascal uses a one-pass compiler and by default is set to compile to memory and hence this process is very quick. At the bottom of the screen, you can see the correct result of playing FizzBuzz. From the IDE prompt, if you hit return, the menu is redisplayed. I said previously that Turbo Pascal defaults to compiling to memory, and if I press D and leave the directory mask blank, you can see that no new files have been created. You can also see that there is no fizzbuzz.paz. This is currently held in memory, and will only be saved after Turbo Pascal prompts you to, or if you press S from the IDE menu. If I wanted to compile to a COM file, then I would press O to go to the compiler options, and then C to choose compile to COM file. Pressing Q takes me back to the main menu. Now when I press R, you can see that the compilation has been to fizzbuzz.com on the B drive. I'll now save my Pascal file so that the IDE can be replaced with fizzbuzz.com. Again, you can see the output of running the command. Looking again at the directory, we can now see both fizzbuzz.paz and the compiled fizzbuzz.com. Pressing C instead of R allows us to compile without running the program. I now leave the ID by pressing Q, run fizzbuzz from the CPM command prompt and look at the disk using stat. Here you can see that the fizzbuzz.com file is 9k, which is quite big considering that we haven't done much. However, this is mainly library, and if you were using Turbo Pascal to create an application, you would probably use quite a bit of that library, so this wouldn't actually be so wasteful. You would also find that the com file would grow much slower from this point. I hope that this demonstration showed that Turbo Pascal is a practical, quick and easy to use environment for programming on CPM. If you are interested in similar videos or articles, please subscribe to the Tech Tinkering video channel and visit techtinkering.com.